Hey guys, so first of all, <clears throat> please don't mind this weird ass angle. I had to sit the phone down because my arms are tired and hurting. So anyway, what I wanted to share with you guys is um, if you live in the state of Indiana, you need to take advantage of the Next Level Jobs program. So um, starting in a couple of weeks, I actually get to do a national certification training program for medical assisting and the state is paying for all of it. Um, I was able to get in through their rapid recovery program, which is something they started doing after the coronavirus. Um, they've had the next level jobs program for a few years now, at least two years. And, um, now they started doing a rapid recovery program where even if you have an associate's or a bachelor's, you can still take advantage of it, but that's only until December 30th. Um, <clears throat> now I am going to get an NHA certification as a medical assistant. So then I can work as a medical assistant. I think that would be really cool. Something to further myself because a lot of the places they want like, the phlebotomy jobs that I've applied for, they haven't accepted me because I either, um, either they want experience, which I don't have as much experience, or they, um, they want you to have your medical assistant certification along with your phlebotomy certification. So I am going to start that in a couple weeks. Next Friday, a week from tomorrow, actually, I get to um, go for my orientation at my new school. So a lot of things are just falling into place right now for me. And I'm really, really excited to see where it takes me. I will be doing classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And what the state pays for, just let me explain this. Um, with the Next Level Jobs program, for this specific program that I'm doing, the state is paying for all of my tuition, which is just under $5,000 um, for the whole program. It's only 16 weeks, which I feel like that's really expensive for a 16 week program, but it does also include an externship, which is something I didn't get with my phlebotomy training. Um, so it covers tuition, like I said, it covers all of the books that I need. It covers, um, study materials and things like that that I need and it also covers a laptop that is for school purposes and so I'm going to get all of that stuff when I go to my orientation um, next Friday. Ne I think the orientation is 6 15 to 6 45 p.m. I will try to bring you guys along with me or at least talk about it. Um, I'm really really excited to get started and I think that it's an awesome opportunity that the state has put forward for people to get you know um, certifications in high demand industries so then you can kind of further yourself but you're also helping the state in a sort of way um, because like a lot of the stuff that they have available on there is like jobs that really need to be filled so not only are they helping you by helping you pay for to get your certification but they're also um helping the state by filling some of those high demand jobs oh and i also forgot to say another thing that is included in my specific training program is one time so they will pay for this one time to take your certification exam, the national certification exam. So if you fail it on the first try, then you won't, like it won't be covered a second time. You would have to pay for it out of pocket. But for the first time it is covered. So I would be really, really stupid to not take advantage of this program while it's being offered. Um, <clears throat> I figured why not like at least try and I'll just have to let my job know that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing an online class from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and that's lasting until March, I believe. Wait, wait. Is it? November, December, January, February, March. Yeah, somewhere around there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get started with it. I will be making um, videos to kind of 
show you guys how my progress is going or talk to you guys about how my progress is going with the class and you guys can follow along with me. I was really, really upset and depressed that I had to kind of drop out of my previous medical assistant program because I was really excited and if I would have been able to stick to it, like I would have been a medical assistant already. Um, so yeah, I'm a little upset about that, but I'm glad that I get the chance to have it paid for by the state, have my national certification test paid for by the state. And then um, I hope, hope that um, I will be able to pass the national certification on the first try. So then I don't have to pay for it out of pocket because <clears throat> I know it's a little pricey or it can be a little pricey. Um, I haven't looked into what exactly it is right now, but I know when I took my um, national phlebotomy certification, it was over a hundred and thirty dollars um, or somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, anyways, I just thought that I would share that with you guys. Let me know if you're excited as I am or if you're as excited as I am to watch me progress in my medical career and um yeah i'm just super excited to be starting this new job starting at a new school and hopefully everything just keeps falling into place again i am sorry for this weird angle i know it's definitely not ideal whatsoever but yeah i'm gonna go home now i've been drinking a little bit of the water i didn't bring it inside with me which I'm glad because with the issues with the drug test, um, yeah, if I would have had to retake it, I would have been sorry for leaving this in the car. But I'm also glad that I came in when I did because when I first got to the occupational health office, um, there was no seats. Like they literally have six chairs available in their office and this office is always busy. So they also had two chairs in the hallway and um, I ended up having to sit in the hallway for a little bit while I was filling out the paperwork. And then by the time I filled out my paperwork, I was able to go sit inside the office and thankfully, you know, everything turned out good. So now I'm just waiting for a call from my new, um, my new jobs HR director so that I can start on Tuesday. So anyways, I will let you guys go and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.